In terms of safety at show jumping, it's actually quite simple. What you must always do is stay out of the arena. So uh, here you can see a, a, a line of uh, plants just here, and behind that is a spectator area. You must always stay behind that. Never ever get into the arena uh, when there's a horse in there and when there's a live show jumping round going on. It's really as simple as that. So show jumping is um, a very exciting uh, part of the eventing weekend um, and it can be run as an individual sport as show jumping. Uh, essentially there's a number of uh, jumps around the course. Um, each participant must go round in the number order of the jumps uh, and there's penalties for knocking specific jumps down. So we're going to go through a number of photos now that are examples of taking photos that sell. What's nice about this shot is that the horse has just started powering off uh, with its hind end to get over the jump. Its legs are nicely tucked up, which is something that the uh, rider's looking for in the photo. And what we've done is taken a series of photos over this jump as fast as my shutter release will go uh, to enable us to get a number of photos uh, of the horse over this jump. Multiple photos over one jump do sell. In this first photo, it's important to recognize that we've chosen a jump that gives us a directly side-on view. And we've chosen it because the background is quite clean, uh, the lighting is fine, the jump itself is quite nice in that it's a wide jump and the horse is going to make a good shape over it. So as you can see here, uh, we've got our first shot of uh, takeoff essentially. Uh, the next shot that uh, we've got along the way is, um, uh, just over the jump, so the horse is kind of horizontal across the jump. This is a really good shot as well, so definitely be keeping this in. This one's a bit mediocre. Um, it's just the horse is not looking absolutely fantastic in this one, but there's a nice sort of landing shot here. So I would be uploading um, three shots. This shot uh, of takeoff, this shot of horizontal movement, and then this shot of the uh, of the landing position here. Um, so uh, really good examples there. As you can see on, on this particular photo here, we're starting to get uh, the backward angle on this fence. Uh, be very careful of this. Nobody wants bum shots, okay? So this is just about still acceptable, I, I think. Uh, we've captured the horse quite nicely on takeoff, uh, but be very careful of bum shots. Um, you know, the horse and riders uh, certainly you know, don't go for those uh, um, very often at all. But both of those photos, I would still be uploading of this particular rider. As you can see here, we've taken this photo from slightly more side on uh, from the front. Uh, so instead of being directly from the side, uh, we've angled it slightly to the front. And this is a great example of, uh, of taking a, a really nice uh, show jumping shot. Obviously, these are quite big jumps uh, that these horses are jumping. But you can see this particular jump is called an oxer. So there's a distance between the front rails and the back rails. And that ca causes the horse to try even harder across this jump and make a really nice uh, shape. Uh, as it's going across these jumps. So do look for these jumps if you can, called oxes. Uh, this one here is an example of uh, taking some photos in portrait mode. Uh, portrait's great uh, for uh, show jumping as well. As you can see, um, I've got the natural light on the side of the horse here. It's great because the horse's legs are nicely tucked up. People are always looking for that. And it's in this takeoff position. I've also captured the ground line here, uh, which is the just literally the grass underneath the jump. Uh, and that gives the horse and rider uh, a sense of size of the jump so that when they're showing this photo on Facebook to their friends, they can actually see uh, the size of the jump. As you can see here, I've kept my shutter release button down, captured another great shot here. Um, and uh, here, a, a slightly another jump uh, from a slightly different angle. Uh, not so great here. I haven't got the ground line in, although the horse and rider are quite nice here, the light on them, it's an oxer jump. Uh, the ground line's not in. So as you can see, it just doesn't look uh, quite as fantastic as some of the others. Uh, this one's getting slightly closer to the ground line. I probably would upload this one as it's such a nice uh, contrasting shot with the red uh, of the fence and the, and the white of the horse. As you can see here, I've tried another location, another different fence uh, and captured those same kind of images. So I'd be uploading all three of those. Uh, and same here, portrait shots. 
Uh, and as you can see, the horse's legs nicely tucked up. This is an example of a, a shot directly from the front of the horse. Uh, another great shot to go for if you can. As you can see, it's quite dramatic. We've managed to zoom right into the horse here, legs nicely tucked up, uh, and we can see a nice blurry background and the horse and rider nicely in focus. So quite a dramatic shot there. Again, another example of a, basically a straight on shot, uh, which really works as well. Make sure if you are slightly to the side, that you're slightly to the side of the uh, side of the horse, which has the light on it. You can see that if, I, if I'm shooting from this side, it doesn't really matter what I do with the photo. It's just not going to be as dramatic uh, as having the light on, on this side of the horse here. Um, just an example here, a very small fence as well. So as you can see, uh, the fences that we've got here are really quite small. Uh, a horse is actually jumping them very well. But look at my position. Uh, and this is really important uh, with smaller jumps like this is that you get you know as low as you possibly can to the ground. It's actually making the horse and rider look quite dramatic. Uh, you can see that there's some sky under here. I've got low enough that there's actually some blue of the sky. And this is probably only a 45, maybe a 60 centimeter jump, but the horse looks great in it. Uh, and the rider would definitely buy these photos. Um, so, and what's really made that, obviously the nice blue sky really helps, uh, but getting close to the ground here, literally in line uh, with the poles, uh, really helps this shot out. So there's some examples of uh, show jumping photos uh, that sell and hope this has been really useful.